We have fish. A, we have a fish who's a brawler. Fish. He nuts people to death. No. <laughs> Strap the nuclear warhead to my forehead. I'll nut him to death. <laughs> oh God. And something sort of stirred a bit of things for fans in the Transformers community. Rewind and uh, Chrome Dome were partners. Yes, big gay robots. I feel like I had that conversation with Star while she was visiting, because... Um... While she was here, we wa she watched Star Wars for the first time. Um, A New Hope, specifically. At least I th think we did that. Shit, my time is blurring all together. But, um... <laughs> she's like, yeah, 3 PO and R2 are a gay couple, aren't they? And I'm like, totally gay robots, yes. Along with the Vermis, we discover. I see modern media focuses on the crew of the Lost Light, which is held up by Vodimus. <laughs> and Ultra Magnus as his right hand man. Drift as his left hand man, who is a character that caused a bit of stir when he was introduced. He's a new one. Who is. His introduction wasn't handled particularly well. And Modern Meets the Eye sort of made up for that. And but every time Drift appeared in a different series, he was that bit different. And it's just going came down to the conclusion that he's just reinventing himself for every time he encounters a different group. He he's the David Bowie of robots. It's pretty much as his name suggests, he is drifting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you uh, remember the character of Cyclonus? I, I remember him from Armada, yes. Oh, he's a very different character. Oh, no. no, no, no. He's a very different character. It's more a G1 character. It's more like uh, Dinobots from... from uh, Beast Wars. Okay. And he's not a Decepticon. Oh. He is an agent... Asian's uh, Transformer from days past, along with Galvaton and Jahaxis, who was, originally was part of the Dead Universe storyline, which never seemed to go well in terms of writing. Star, Star and I have actually talked about possibly uh, binging Beast Wars together, because... Again, didn't have cable for several years as a kid, so I only caught, like, two episodes of Beast Wars. I, I remember what I saw I thought was really cool. And, like, like, I know, like, several of the versions of the characters in that are considered, like, the best versions of characters. Oh, yeah. The thing to remember is, this lot are entirely new characters, except for possibly one. Okay. Who was introduced very late into the series. I'm just not going to tell you who. It's also early days of the uh, CGI. So it's... The looks are very dated. I mean, the same is true of, like, um, friggin' Reboot, which I caught on Cartoon Network years after it had originally... Uh been a thing. Same era, pretty much. Same problems. Yep. Yeah. But 
I do do enjoy Beast Wars. Hell, I even enjoy Beast Machines. Was very divisive for the fans. I can understand why characters change and not necessarily for the better. <laughs> that that's often the case with long running franchises. Yeah. Unrelated, I forgot that Morbius was on Netflix now. H how badly do I want people in the server to suffer? God. I'm not watching that. <laughs> you're you're better off. It like, like it's not as bad as people make it out to sound. My problem with it was, like, I'm watching it, and it's bad. And while it's bad, I'm seeing all of the ways that it could have been good. Like, I look at things and I'm like, this could have worked if you had done this. That could have worked if you had done this. That could have worked. So just, like, seeing all these things where it's like, that could have worked. But you did something stupid. Just makes it all the worse. And this reminds me, I think, I think of the very earliest attempt, attempt to do a comic movie that worked out was Blade. I have never seen Blade, and I need to change that because, because like I remember. I remember that came out and, like, my brother saw Blade, and it, like, by all accounts, it was amazing. And, like, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly trying to be a straight-up superhero movie, necessarily. Oh, no. It was for gruesome. Yeah. And, like, like, I also need to watch, like, The Crow, which, um, my cousin was a big fan of, um, in, f in fact, I think he's based his entire look for the past 30 years off of the crow, but, uh, well, like, um, <laughs> he was, he was absolutely that guy during the 90s. <laughs> but, like, like, I hear that the crow is fantastic, and it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I should, I should make some time to watch that. Okay, you've got the basic gun. As you know, I picked did that for a reason. Sir, you're no part of the top hat gang. <laughs> you must dress appropriately. Generators, not my favorite missions. Mm -hmm. Go, Billy, go. Destroying generators was also a thing in uh, Team World Dig One and Two, but for different reasons. I still want to show off uh, Billy's melee attack. Just, it's just getting the positioning.
you. Hmm. Thank you for taking him out. Time to have a blast. Man, this get together was the bomb. <laughs> I grew up in the 90s! <laughs> All I can say is 80s, 90s, man. They were a time. Mm -hmm. I, got, I remember I remember someone recently, uh, like, in the... They posted a picture of, like, some 90s fashion, and it, it was early 90s fashion. Early 90s. Because that's a very different animal from late 90s. Yeah. Uh... And they're like, look at those ridiculous pants on that person. Look at all those bizarre colors on it. I look at them and I go, you know, I had a pair of pants just like that when I was six. <laughs> the person just kind of looks at me and I'm like, what? It was the 90s. <laughs> That's how people dressed back then. Uh, I don't remember people wearing pedal buses and... A lot of pedal buses, especially jeans just cut off just below the knee. Mm. Mm. Ah. I all the turrets. Why are there so many turrets? This is a terrible vacation. Your defenses mean nothing to me. <laughs> it also means I can't shoot you upon black brains. We never got your action figure, you son of a bitch! <laughs> we really wanted that one. We really, really did. Uh... Hmm. I think I still have, like, my... my Terax, Silver Surfer, and Fire Lord action figures somewhere. Not positive. They may have... They may have vanished in the course of the decades. Um, I'm pretty sure Courage still has Drill Iron Man, which I got him as a, as a birthday gift one year. Years after that toy line was a thing. Blub blub, motherfucker. Bonk! That was 
pretty badass. Even better, restores health. Billy is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Billy chooses violence. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> NPCs to add to Galistean Marshals. <laughs> oh god. There's no kill like overkill. <sighs> oh, come on. That's just been mean. Two, two of them and a lovely. I have no idea what you said. It, it was a vocalization of some sort. Yes, yes, it was. I think of your defenses. to advance, got no other choice about it. You guys are starting to get on my nerves. Uh. Launch the cow. I have rules for Sangan, for the Sangan. <laughs> so, we choose rules for Sangan. What's it? Fighter, and pugilist. We get ourselves a little bitty. <laughs> he chooses violence. If I remember, the Sangan also gets a bite attack. I believe you are correct, because I remember... I'm trying to remember... I think I was looking at 
possibly doing one of them for Shattered Isles at one point, and I was like, nah. The whole thing that it needs to be submerged in water for so many, so much out, so much time out of day does put a, a damper on things. Yeah. Where did that come Would from? Would you stop? Would you stop firing the poo gun, you jerk? <laughs> Hey, hey. Boom. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh no. You know, I don't like this how this is going. Yeah, this is not going as well as it could be. I really need to get him a better gun. You know what? We're done. <laughs> we're done here for now. And we're well, done. Uh, we're done with the recording session as well. Alrighty. So, uh, for those that stick around, thank you, for, thank you for watching. Thank you to JK Lanson and Yoko for joining me on this journey of discovery, strange things, and my failure. Thank you for this, having us. This journey of Transformers, comic books, fan fiction. So, uh, until next time. Too many things. <laughs> you know, I don't even bother to summarize these videos. They all got a standard one. <laughs> so, until next time, be good, be well, and all that fun stuff. Later. Later. Bye.